Welcome to the world of Cisco's voice and unified communications. In this video, we look at how to change or modify the background image of an IP phone. Let's see the step-by-step -step procedures. Step 1. Edit the picture file of your preference. Step 2. Edit and upload the list.xml file in Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Step 3. Upload the images in the TFTP server. And step 4. Change the background image in Cisco IP phone. The components used in this video are Cisco Unified Communications Manager 7.0 and Cisco IP phone 7965. One key thing here is you should use the standard image size for your IP phone series. For example, if you are using Cisco IP phone 7965, then the full size image should be 320 pixels width and 212 pixels height. The thumbnail image should be 80 pixels width and 53 pixels height. The directory name should be forward slash desktops forward slash 320 into 212 into 16. For other series of IP phones, you can refer this sheet for the standard image size. Let's see how to edit the picture file of your preference. Select any picture of your preference which you want to apply as a background image in your IP phone and if required, you can edit it. In this video, I am going to explain how to edit your picture and add some text of your choice. Here, I am going to use the paint for editing and you can use any editing software. Go to Start, Programs, Accessories, Paint. Go to File and open the picture of your preference with the paint. Now I have selected a picture and I am going to add some text. Say Cisco. Edit the text size with the text toolbar. Go to image, attributes, and then set the height and width. For full size image, it should be 320 pixels width and 212 pixels height. Click OK. Go to file and save the file with the file name and file type as PNG. and save the file. The image file is now ready. Let's create the image file for the thumbnail. Open the file and create any image of your choice with some text to it. say Cisco. Edit the text 
with the text toolbar. Go to image, attributes, and then set the width and height. For thumbnail image, it should be 80 pixels width and 53 pixels height. Check whether the pixel is enabled and click OK. Go to file and save the file with the file name and file type as PNG. And save the file. Now, both full size and the thumbnail image files are ready. Ensure the file type is PNG. Step 1 is over. Next step is to edit the list.xml file. Download the list.xml file from Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Open the file with the word pad and copy paste the line image item. Now replace the file names. and save the file. If you don't find list.xml file, create a similar file. Now, the next step is to upload all the files into the TFTP server. Before that, open the list.xml file in a WordPad and check for the directory name. Now go to Cisco Unified OS Administration and log in with your username and password. Go to Software Upgrades TFTP File Management and click Upload File. Browse for the image file image2.png and enter the directory name forward slash desktops forward slash 320 into 212 into 16. And hit the upload file button. Now check for the status file uploaded successfully. Similarly, browse for the next file image to hyphen thumb.png and hit the upload file button. Next, browse for list.xml file since we made changes and upload the file. Check whether all the files are being uploaded in the TFTP server. Select ends with and enter .png and click Find. As you can see here, image2.png and image2-thumb.png are uploaded in the TFTP server. If you find any problem with the file uploading, just check the TFTP service 
and a Cisco Unified Serviceability. Let's see how to do it. Go to Cisco Unified Serviceability and enter with your username and password. Go to Tools, Control Center, Feature Services. Now, check for Cisco TFTP service. The service is started. If you find any problem with the file upload, restart the service. Select Cisco TFTP service and restart. This restart may take some time. After the restart, you can again go and check your file uploads in the Cisco Unified OS Administration page. Now the restart is successful with the status Cisco TFTP service restart operation was successful. Now log out and go for step 4. Let's see how to change the background image in your IP phone. Select the settings button and then select the background images. Now select the thumbnail which you have uploaded and save the settings. As you can see here, the picture file is uploaded as a background image in your Cisco IP phone. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you. Let us know what are the topics you would like to see in the upcoming videos and leave your comments. Thanks again.